Danes did not do this. It's the We know it's the Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? Shame old apple. You slaughtered my best little cow, you beast! I did not touch your herd. These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. You there! What befell this poor beast? Dames befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I've heard talk of a beast on the loose. Still wet as dew. Where does it lead? By the gods. What manner of beasts flung that poor creature up here to its doom? A Jotun did this. I saw. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened, I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf, a bear, maybe a rabbit hound. It was a Jotun, as great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name, Grendel. A Jotun did this. I saw it, all big and hairy, staggering across the moor. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. I know, and the corpse is covered in a strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. 
What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Hrothgar and his band of days were the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mold beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes, but worse, far, far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolf Hilda. Wolf Hilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No, no mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that? I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones, and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek. Saints! Save me! The maulings have drawn in a starving wolf pack. Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? <laughs> yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. 
I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wolfhilda. And an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your Church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Hrothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. See, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields, on the cows. The villagers say it is the devil's mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, and we find our killer. Same marks as before. Bite marks. The mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? Evil, <gasps> look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged a body up there. <gasps> You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. 
Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. What was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back. You and I. Not I. My wounds are too great and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Helheim. For me. Right. With the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait. Warrior. There were... Two... Do not scare the demon off when it returns. We'll wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. to play. You make Grendel hurt. Mama, I want to go home. I'm all that is holy and bright. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster. But a man. Strange to behold, but this Grendel is, was, a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. Oh Lord, forgive this man his sins. And grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon me. Grendel must have tracked this mold here, but from where?
show me what lies. Source of the mold must be near. See. The mole trail leads into this pit. speaks of her child. Dream. 
lives. What just happened? Brando! Brando! Is that you? Answer me! I need a, a thing for a locked door. A key, yes. I need a key. A key. So fitting. Yet what use is a key with no lock? <coughs> Mold. Mold. Send it. I like my son. Where is he? Where is my boy? Anyone. But the others, they could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. My sweet little friend. Hilda must know the truth of this. What is this place? What?
Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark, and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one. About heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything, is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now. But will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhelder. Make it a good tale.